When it comes to your car, where you park and what you drive could play a big part in whether you are a target. Police around the country are reporting a rapid rise in catalytic converter thefts. And some vehicles are apparently more desirable to thieves than others. So Chris, is there anything we can do to not become a victim? Uh, there are a couple things, Sheba. If you think gas is expensive these days, well, try walking out to your car and finding a $2,000 repair bill. Catalytic converters may be a part of a car you've never seen before, but for crooks, they're like gold. So this is a catalytic converter that was replaced because it was stolen previously. The surge in catalytic converter thefts could be seen firsthand inside the repair bays at Paul Campanello's Auto and Tire in Wilmington. There's been a huge uptick over the last six months. On the garage lift, another Honda Accord getting a new catalytic converter installed after the first one was stolen. There's some where we've replaced one and then the next day it's a box truck and it goes back to a site and it gets stolen again. The catalytic converter is part of a vehicle's exhaust system, but inside it contains expensive precious metals like rhodium, platinum, and palladium. This is the piece that has the precious metals in it. It only takes a few minutes. Using a metal saw, thieves cut through the cats from the bottom of the car and then sell that metal to scrappers where they can fetch anywhere from one to 500 bucks. It's usually places where there are no cameras, they're not well lit, and they're very accessible to the public. Newcastle County Police reported 175 catalytic converter thefts since January. In Philly, last year, there were more than 3,400 thefts. Honda Accords and Priuses are among the highly targeted vehicles. Police are hoping education plays a role in helping solve and reduce the crime. Once everybody's educated, the community is aware of what's going on, Scrap metal workers are aware of what's going on, then they'll move on or they'll actually be able to make some arrests on it. Now, the best way to prevent loss is to obviously park your car in a garage. If you can't do that, park in well-lit parking lots close to public entrances. S some people, Sheba, is going far as to carve their VIN numbers on their catalytic converters. There's also anti-theft devices to help you prevent that from being swiped. Well, you got to do something to stay vigilant out here, Chris. Thank you.